Okay. Oh, I hope that light isn't that bad. Oh God. Oh. <laughs> oh no. This hair. No, this is this is this has got to do something else. Okay. Titties looking right. <laughs> now I'm really excited. Hi. Um, wow. This video will be for the people that are thinking, oh, we've heard this sh before, but I'm down to hear it one more time. <laughs> and if that's you, continue watching. If that's not you, can it be you just today? Just, <laughs> just watch this video and give me the benefit of the doubt. Last time, I swear, I... <laughs> Okay, let's, let's get into it. The first thing I wanna do is actually express how much I do miss you and how sitting here talking like a regular vlog is really cool. And it feels really, really good um, for the first time it has in a very long time. I don't wanna take up too much of your time and I have cried more tears in these past years than I will for the remainder of my life. So I'm done doing that too. <laughs> for a while, good Lord. So the first thing that you're probably expecting me to say is I'm sorry, but the reason is radically different. Normally I would say that because I left and came back, but, um, but no, uh, this is different. See, I thought that putting on a Patreon is abusing my audience. I thought that giving you guys sponsor content is audience abuse, and I still do believe that, but I I took it a step further. I will honestly say that I didn't really recognize it uh, until recently. Recently, I climbed out of depression. I've been talking about it on Twitter, but I, I left the world of depression, and it's just as mysterious as when I entered it. I can tell you right now though, a landmark of when I entered depression during my content creation, because I believe it's been three years, I would say go to um, any video, the first video where I put in parentheses, um, offensive, or um, anyone where it's just a clickbait cringe thumbnail. That is when the depression started. My mind deteriorated and I had to rely on cheap tactics to gain views instead of comedy. I, I didn't have the capacity to make great content anymore. I thought it was gone forever. Um, back to the apology though. I'm apologizing because I feel like I shared too much. I used you guys as some sort of journal or diary and I, I weighed my happiness with how many views a video got and I know these were distorted like thoughts in depression but that's what happened. I would cry and, you know, lament to you and I would make terrible videos and it's just, it's, it's a mess. It's one thing to be open and honest with your audience, but it's another thing to have the emotional intellect to know that there is a time and place for everything. And you don't come to YouTube to watch me bitch. You, you come to YouTube to laugh, to be entertained. Um, especially now, oh my God, the world sucks. Like there's just a lot of bad Everyone on YouTube is hyping up this drama. At this point, nigga, I'm about to fight anybody. I'm about to call out, I'm gonna call out like Jordy or like Leon Lush mm. or like Joe Rogan. Yeah. I'm gonna lose. I've already like, you know, succumbed to that. But if they could just put their hands on me for just a round, I swear <laughs> that would be enough for me. Win the fight, I don't care. I've got enough of the spank bank for the remainder of my life. You're not pages in a book. You're not a Tumblr blog. You're a living person with your own problems, we all have our own problems. And for me to put that on you is is not good. Again, I didn't really even recognize that I was doing it. I didn't recognize that I was in depression for this long until the pattern started adding up and it was a mess. But just randomly one morning I woke up and I did not feel like dying. I was like, oh shit. this is what be, this, is, this feels great. While I was undergoing this depression, it was very easy for me to look at other people's drama and latch onto it or talk about it or gossip about it or whatever it is. Because, I mean, it beats, you know, dealing with my own But recently especially, um, I've been looking at what is hot on YouTube and I'm noticing that, again, we're following this drama trend. Um, I'm noticing that a lot of problematic YouTubers are still getting pushed by the company and, and drama will always circumvent and win. Uh, for the most part. I don't like that, but I think that it's not wise of me to not play the game. And what I mean by that is, even though things have been unfair for me, and I genuinely do believe that, I won't get anywhere blowing whistles. Unfortunately, whistleblowers often get targeted, isolated, and then cut out. And I, I don't think that's a good route, at least 
that's not what I want to be. I look at channels like um, Jack's Films and Brandon Rogers, and those two are like two of my favorite channels. I, I, both of them, been massive fans of both of them for a long time, but what I love most about their channel is that it's devoid of drama. It's just, it's just them and they're entertaining and it's like, you know that when you click on that you're going there for that. That's all I want. These niggas is living it up sans drama. The problem is drama is like gay man Gatorade. Like it's difficult for me to not sip tea. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> it's not, I cannot help it. So I cannot promise you that I will ignore it. There's no way, I'm hopeless. I'm gonna be drinking tea. However, what I can commit to is I will not instigate. I will not fight. Damn, I'm lying about that too. Okay, hold on. Depression is some shit. I, uh, <laughs> I won't lie. Like, like depression tricks you into believing uh, at a moment's notice that you have nothing and that you're just, your whole life is terrible and you should just die. And then if you survive depression, the issue is that because that toxic air was around you, when you wake up and realize that you're out of depression, you look at what you have and it's just like what they tricked you to believe that, well, damn, I have nothing and nobody. And obviously I don't have nobody, but you see what I'm saying? The toxic behavior that I exude, people aren't gonna wanna deal with it. I've lost a lot of friendships, but it makes sense because you don't wanna be around that. No hard feelings at all. Well, no, no, a few hard feelings, nope. You know what? When I think of starting drama, I'm just gonna drink water. There's just a few people though that I just, you're right, I don't have to, nor do I want to focus on anything negative when it comes to this video. I wanna focus on the positive. There are so many people that I wanna thank. Like JT from Twitch, he's basically my god now. He saw me like pretty much about to die and he was like, nope. And then he was like, here's some money and they could fix your life. You might have seen this person donate before. His name is Dondi. He makes the game The Isle super grumpy and super adorable. That nigga is always mad, but if you throw a blanket on him, it's over, he just sleeps. It's the cutest in the world. I highly recommend it. Jack Septic Eye, Francesca Ramsey, Shin, that nigga that draw those comics, Jordy. You're not gonna find many handsome, chiseled, tattooed northern men like this on YouTube. Trust me on that look. Although if you're looking, good look. He's just perfect. Josh from Blizzard, food. As you can see, I've gained my weight back and yes, I am going to fix it, but that food was good as hell. There is so much that I do want to say. There's so much that I wanna express. I could have story time for the rest of my life, but instead of that, I would rather turn all of the pain and the good into content. I'd rather express how I'm feeling through videos that I craft for you because I'm tapped out. I can't do another crying video, my niggas. I just cannot, I'm t I can't do it. I refuse. I'm not gonna make promises. Someone on Twitter actually gave me bomb advice about that. They said, you know what? You just need to drop that shit like Beyonce. You just gotta literally boop and just drop it out of nowhere and let people react the way they're gonna react. So that's what I'm gonna do. There is one genuine thing that I'm going to say and you don't have to do it cause you don't owe me shit, but you know how uh, before all this shit, I made all these sponsor videos and they were the worst in the world. Well, I wish I was not depressed during the Mr. Beast era. I saw this one video of this streamer bitch getting money for every time she blink. I'm like having a seizure on my computer. I'm like, my nigga, no. Like, and this streamer, like, she didn't do nothing wrong. She's doing nothing wrong. And she's all happy she's getting the money and I'm just like, okay, yeah, you stupid bitch. Like, <laughs> I, just, I just hate her. I just like, bitch. <laughs> I don't know why I was so mad. It happened to everyone. Like Ninja would be like, all right, nine million subs in a week. And I'm like, you little f bitch. You sitting there with your smile. <laughs> and I would type like, oh my God, yay. And as soon as my fingers get picked up, you little bitch. <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe it. I hate you. Nigga, you never know. There was no way that bitch knew she was being donated to for blinking. There's no way. No one in the history of streaming has ever had that happen to them. So no, you never know. We missed that nigga, but we ain't gonna miss nobody no more. We back. Now listen, so in the near future, and by near future, I mean near nigga, I mean right next to you, there could be a company shout out of something that I genuinely do believe in. I am not only saying that because of Stockholm Syndrome, I do like this business model. And well, 
I am only asking you to just be supportive. <laughs> Eight niggas just clicked off the video right now. They just, they, they're done. They unsubbed, they left, they're gone forever. They were like, ah, oh, no, I knew it. This little black, there's no way. The only thing I can say is just trust me. Depression is just bad luck. If that tanked my career and we don't move any further from right here, well then nigga, let's drown together. Let, let, let's die out and become irrelevant together. And I will compile and, and, and perform as many brilliant videos as I can before we just sink right into the floor. That's all I can do. And I'm very excited to do so. Well, it is 6 a.m., which means that's all the time that I have for you today and I'm gonna take my ass to bed. And uh, hopefully very soon you'll be seeing some videos and let's just pretend the last three years didn't happen. Poof. Now, please tell me I didn't have any shit on my face like I always do. Oh no, just normal amount of ugly, okay. Oh, I look cute. Oh, when I really make myself look prettier by moving around. <laughs> this last one is excellent. I do it for the love, for the love, yes I do So you don't care about the money, well yes it's true And I'm so blessed to be